Hello everybody! It is Soddy here and I am back after my long disappearance into nowhere. And I'm going to be starting this with my newest episode of Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness. For those of you who don't know, Victoria is an amazing game and I don't actually know what type of game you can class it as. It's an RTS, risk, game board sort of game. Uh, I should have probably googled this beforehand and had like at least something prepared but I didn't. But those of you who don't know, you can probably pause this and go and Google it yourself right now. So, let's not wait any longer. Now, the question is, who do you want to play for? Uh, for those of you seeing this for the first time, yes, you can be legitimately every country in the world. However, some of them, it's not really good to go, like that country there. Makran, you're, you're probably going to do nothing. You're just going to sit there the whole game and cry. Afghanistan, you'll probably get invaded by Britain. And, well, that actually happened again recently. Ooh. Uh, Russia, um, no, they're, they're too big. I tried to play them once and I just don't want to talk about it. But since this is going to be my first video in a while, in fact my second video altogether, I will go to lovely France. Actually maybe Prussia, but no, no, no Prussia's too difficult. Especially if I want to try and make this interesting, which will probably will fail. But okay, we shall go to the Franco Empire. <laughs> oh, 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 alrighty then. Okay, what have we got? We have just a mess of armies. I always hate nations at the start of the game. Alright, for those of you who have no idea what this game is, I'm going to give you a very quick run through of what is going on. This is your production. This is what your country produces. You can get a more in detailed thing by looking here. It's not that much right now because it's the start of the game. Even though realistically they would have produced more than this. Just the game. The game, man. Uh, this is your budget. This is how much money you make. This is your tax. How much tax you can go up or down. Loans you've taken or given. You can change your military spending, social spending. That's stuff like unemployment, pensions, healthcare, uh, education, crap like that. Well, no, actually, this is education, sorry. Uh, administration, that's how efficient your taxes are, so that needs to be right up here. Education, however, we do not care about right now, and that will be going down here very nicely. And this is where you adjust the stockpiles. The stockpiles is, for example, every country has a military stockpile, a navy stockpile, and an industrial stockpile. If you try to argue this fact, then, well, sorry, you're wrong. S but we are going to have to lower the... Ooh. I should probably have put that on silent. But we're going to lower all this because the French Empire needs money. Without money, we cannot conduct wars. I don't like how I can't tax people. This isn't very nice. I want to tax all of you. Alright, now let's have a look at our overall thing. Are we friendly with anyone? We're protected by the Papal States. Well, I don't really think you could do anything to help me. But thank you for the thought. Right, I guess we'll just ally with everyone who's close by. Oh, and also, another feature in this game, which I probably should have spoke of a minute ago, is you can get influence the countries. Now, you can set it from one to three bars, the third being you send the most amount of influence possible, the first being the least amount of influence. But you're also competing with the other great powers of the world. There can only be eight great powers at any given time and they are given great power status by their overall prestige, military score, and navy score, which is seen here. United Kingdom is number one, Russia is number two, myself as France is number three, Prussia is number four, Austria is number five, the Ottoman Empire is six, uh, Spain is number seven, and the colonies are number eight. This is also where you can see the current war is going on. So as you can see, the Ottoman Empire at war with Tripoli, and Texas is at war with Mexico. And Argentina is at war with Bolivia and Peru. This, uh, well, nothing's going on here right now. You don't need to worry about that. The crisis thing, y you don't need to worry about that right now either. You'll probably see it soon. Okay, we should probably go back to allying, and then I'll tell you what the rest of these buttons do. Now we're just going to set some influence up with Switzerland. Now, the important thing is, <coughs> it's really good to have influence with the countries that you are allied with right next to you because you can add them to your sphere of influence which in turn will give you a casus belli against anyone who attacks them you can just say well they're in my sphere so fuck you 
Well, okay, it's called a casus belli. You don't actually say that, but you get what I mean. You're smart people. I trust you. Uh, we should maybe ally with Belgium, too. I don't know. They will not accept. Where the fuck are you, Belgium, my girl? Okay, I think that's everyone I care about allying with. Maybe Austria, if they want to be friends. You want to be friends? Yeah? Oh, they want to be friends. Bueno, bueno. <coughs> Does Spain want to be friends? Yeah, Spain want to be friends. They all want to be friends. What Portugal? Do you want to be my friend? Yeah. Who else wants to be my friend? Morocco? Do you want to be my friend? No, we don't have any diplomats. Nobody wants to be my friend now. Uh, this now is the research tree. There are five different branches of research. There is army, navy, commerce, culture, and industry. I'm, I'm sure you are smart enough people to work out what goes on in each one of these trees. So I'm not going to explain it. Well, this thing at the top, this is where you can change, uh, how would you describe it? The ideology of your universities? I don't know. Basically, you can change it through decisions. Uh, restore the Academia just puts everything back to normal. You get no bonuses or negatives. But you get different ones that will appear throughout the game. I don't know how they appear or how they disappear at all. But some of them you'll get like plus navy and plus industry, minus culture, minus army. However, this current one we're in gives us plus culture. And well, I, I really like going industry first because I love money. So we are going to restore the academia straight away and take our prestige hit at the start of the game because just YOLO. And we are going to go straight up clean coal. I have a feeling someone's going to comment saying what I'm doing is wrong and I shouldn't be doing it and I'm an embarrassment to the world and my dad doesn't love me. And, but Yeah, that'll be cool. At least I'll learn something. Now this, <coughs> this is where you get to see more detailed information about your entire country. So you can see how many aristocrats there are, how many artisans, how many bureaucrats, capitalists. Oh, they're bad people. We don't like them. Well, in this game we do. In real life we don't. There's clergymen. That's religious people or priests. There's clerks. They're like desk guys. Craftsmen. Farmers. I'm sure you know what a farmer is. Laborers. Officers. Slaves. And soldiers. Oh, I didn't know France still had slavery enabled. Wow, we do. We're definitely going to try and keep slavery enabled as long as we can. The slaves are very good for the economy, see? Also, uh, another thing I forgot to do is you can change this. This is your national focus. It can be applied to a certain area. So, for example, I can encourage more aristocrats. I can encourage more capitalists. I can encourage party loyalty to reactionary, to fascist, to socialist, communist, liberal, anarcho-liberal. I can encourage armaments industries, goods, textiles, shipping, oil, electricity, and automobiles. Also, immigration. But I don't really want to do that. I'm worried something like the EDL might form in my own country. The French Defence League. They're taking our jobs! But I am going to encourage capitalists because early game I find them the most effective because they do things like this. Wait, wrong one. Oops. Project. Now that means they pretty much pay for my improvements. They pay for these factories, which there will be a lot more of soon because we have a lot of states to fill up. They pay for my railroads, and that's pretty much all they pay for, sadly. But okay, I believe I have not shown you everything yet. There is now trade. This is where you get to see the world market. <coughs> so you get to see all the materials. If you hover the mouse over it, you can see who produces it, how much they produce, how much it's worth right now, if it's high demand. Uh, the AI means you're automatically buying it. I normally have it set on that because micromanaging the economy is just... Oh, it's just unholy. Okay, now there's diplomacy. I've, I've showed you that. It just goes in detail when you click on them. You get all these on the side. Loads of different options. Military. This is where you get to see all your units in depth. On this side, you will have a lot of generals later on in the game and admirals that you can assign to different divisions and stuff. On here, that's your navies. And that's all your armies. And yeah, I think we should now get to work. Also, there's a revolution happening in Spain right now, which is pretty cool. We're the Carlist anarcho revolutionaries. But now we shall get ready to merge our armies. And we shall also start conquering Algeria. Because, well, it's mine. 
but I need to wait for a diplomat. So we will start the game at a pace of two. Oh, just look at all these lovely alliances. The French Empire will grow strong. Our name has been discredited. Well, fuck you, Austria. We'll remember that. Now, we need to sort of fix this shambles of an army that we have. Right, they have a pretty balanced army. They don't. So we gonna do some of this. We're gonna send some hussars over here. And we'll get rid of one of the infantry units and send them here. And we'll get that infantry unit and send it there. One of the curious seers will go there, and they will go there. So now we should have three lovely armies and three navies, which I should probably split up into different fleets. Now, if anyone actually plays this game a lot, please tell me if this is a good thing to do or not, because I have no idea. <coughs> and this is the only thing I actually care about if I'm doing wrong or not. I always split my fleets into trade, uh, to transport fleets and to attack fleets because, well, it seems more logical, but I could be wrong. So if you know otherwise, please tell me and explain why, and I will be happy. We'll rename this now. I, I don't really want my names in French. This will be what we call this. This will be Blackbeard's Navy. Yeah, we, ha we have to roleplay a bit, guys. Come on. We're taking over the world here. What will this be? I can't really think of any funny names for ships. Uh, what's a funny ship name? Ah, we could call it the. No, no. If you call it the Titanic or Sink, can't do that. Uh, we'll just call it them ships. Bra. Yeah, that's a pretty sound fleet name. Them ships bra is off the coast of Brest. Okay, no, I, I guess we'll just call it the first Imperial Fleet, and we'll stick to the rules. But we're keeping Blackbeard's Fleet. What, Blackbeard's Navy? Actually, Blackbeard's Fleet, that probably makes a lot more sense. Blackbeard's Fleet. Alright, now let's merge all of these units. So, we have two armies. We will create the first Legion. And we will create the second Legion. Now, we're allied with Spain, and I know that the Carlists don't win. Eventually, Spain wins. So, I will just put these guys at Avignon. Or to, actually, no. Avignon or Marseille. I don't know. And then, we will station the first legion at our border with Prussia, because you see these areas here. Well, this is an area known as the Rhineland, and for some unknown reason, Germany just... Well, not Germany, sorry, Prussia right now. This is what they were before they came Germany. Many of you may not know this. It wasn't always Germany. It was born in the darkness, but they created it. But yeah, uh, they actually want this these three provinces right here. Metz, Strasbourg, and Colmar. And what happens is they need to capture it to form the German Empire, which is an event that they get where they unite all of these provinces and become Germany. And they even get like bits of Poland, which is really stupid because they're just massive. And it's just, uh, but yeah, so I'm going to need to always have a strong military here, no matter what. And I do not get a choice in the matter. But meanwhile, we should probably have a look. Right, we should probably rename this as well. This will be the first Royal Guard. Actually, are we even still a monarchy? Uh, HM's government. Yeah, we are. That's like a, the British thing. I don't think so. I actually have no idea. But okay. So we have quite a large army in Alge Algeria, which is great for us. Sadly, we do need to get some horses into this army. So we're going to get two horses here and a third horse there. Even though I need to position one of them here. But yeah, we'll start justifying war. Now, this is what you need to do in this game. <coughs> this is the one thing you need to watch out for. In this game, 
declaring war on countries, annexing them, adding war goals, that's to take more provinces from them to get a surrender, anything like that, will give you something called infamy. Now infamy is, uh, where is it? Infamy is right here. Now if you go above 20, I think, pretty much the entire world wants to hate you, wants to kill you and see you as a bigger threat than the Soviet Union, which is really bad because what happens is UK will declare war on you, then Spain, then Austria, then Russia, and then Ottoman Empire, then America will just appear and go, we're American and we're here for our American interest to help with this thing. And it just, just goes really bad. So I'm going to have to be really nice and just hope that destroying Algeria and Tunis does not attract too much unwanted attention. It probably will though, which sucks. This will be the first Foreign Legion, because the Foreign Legion are a legendary French unit. Well, not even a unit. A legion. Maha. We will position... Hmm. Position the largest army here and the smallest army here. Now, we've started making more money, which is great. We can afford to do this now. And we've given a lot of loans. Another good feature of this game is, sometimes the country won't have enough money to pay back the loan that you've given them. And you get a Cassus Belly to declare war on them and take your money back by force. Which may seem completely unfair, but, well, that, that's how they did it and how they still do it to this day. Okay, I should probably upgrade this. This is a colonial feature where you colonize this area here. Well, not this area here, that's probably a bad way of describing it. You can colonize Africa, you can colonize... Australia, but Britain's done that already, apart from here. You can colonize the rest of uh, whatever this is, I forgot the name of it, and the rest of the Philippines. And you see, I knew that was the Philippines. I don't know what this is though. Or those. Java. Yeah, it's Java. Java, man. You want to go to Java? Have a look at my Java lamp. But it's Dutch though. Well, at least that's cool. The Dutch are cool. We love the Dutch. They have a lot of good things in their country. But yeah, you can colonize them by doing this. You click on this, that button here, and you'll start sending an expedition. And it takes about a year, and then you can create a protectorate, which will make it into, well, your color, like that's going on here. However, if another nation sends one, then you'll have one exactly like this, right underneath. And you'll be fighting for power until one of you runs out of colonial points, which are here. Now, I know this all sounds very confusing, because you're getting told so much information if you have never heard of this game before, but just trust me, like the learning curve is steep, but once you learn, it is probably one of my most favorite games right now. There is seriously nothing more fun than this, because every playthrough is different. <coughs> oh, 17 infamy for that. Now, that is really awkward, but we're just going to pretend that didn't happen. That is someone trying to phone me, and we're just going to ignore that. And meanwhile, we're going to actually look for where this place is. Ah, uh, I know where it is. Saint-Pierre is right here, in the only French part of Canada. Because the British kicked them out about, uh, about 60 years ago, I think. No, no, maybe. I think it was 1780s that the French finally got kicked out. I honestly don't know for sure, though. Don't take my word for it. There's probably, like, some of you already Googling it, writing a reply saying, ah, you're wrong, you're wrong, bah. But either way. Now, how long until this is ready? 24%, oh man. Well, we shall fast forward it substantially. The Algerian menace. Everyone knows Algeria is out to get us. It's only a matter of time before they launch an unprovoked attack. So it's only reasonable that we take steps to preemptively defend ourselves. As luck would have it, a report detailing their nefarious schemes has recently been leaked to the press and the public have rallied to our cause. Yeah, that's true. You may be thinking to yourself right now, wait a minute, that's exactly what happens on TV over incidents that are like happening, I don't know, like round about here. <coughs> and then involving stuff about 
here and here. That's right, people. They're using Cass's bellies, and you're falling right into it. But we're not here to have a political debate. As funny as it is on YouTube. Probably a bad idea on YouTube. Instead, we are here to take over the world. Okay, the Cass's belly. Oh, I forgot about this. Now, this is my problem in this game. I always forget about this. Just increasing the opinion over and over and over. Oh, I can add Sardinia Piedmont to my sphere. Which is great. Oh, I've already read that one. They can't really think of new ones, can they? What's this? <coughs> in 1855, Alexei D. something published his Democracy in America, which was immediately recognized as a classic in both America and France. In it, he remarked on the... I, I not even know how to pronounce that, and religious religiosity, something, of Americans, something that remains a puzzle to Europeans today. Tocqueville is one of the few historians with more than one classic to his credit. His other great works, The Old Regime and the French Revolution, was published in 1856, just three years before his death. Viva la de France! That's pretty cool. What's happening in the news? Let's see the first news. The fears of Frankfurt and Maine. Oh, oh we've, we've made wooden pavements, that's pretty cool. <laughs> An enraged gentleman cow gored five men and seven women to death yesterday. The gentleman cow, who had previously been of a gentle nature, was beheaded by a passing chimney sweep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's excellent. A life without food. A man claiming he can abstain without from food for at least 30 days and retain full physical and mental fitness. Oh, we'll, let, we'll let them eat cake for the blight. I'm reading the newspaper, sorry. Full physical fitness and mental fitness challenges physicians to subject his abilities to a test. Okay. Cool. Story. Bro. Anything cool and funny here? Oh, the Arc de Triomphe, commissioned by Napoleon Bonaparte, has been completed. Oh, that means Bonaparte's in power right now, then. So that means the French Revolution has happened, and I was wrong. Which also means we need to upgrade one of these. Increased liberal activity, those damn liberals. Always liberalizing things. Oh, French guana, that's all the way down here. What am I doing over here, man? We now have our Casas Belly. So let's annex Morocco. I mean, not Morocco. Algeria? Uh, I guess there's no harm in calling my allies. Oh, I should pause the game here. Alright, we've done our first research. That is brilliant. So Switzerland's joined us. Sardinia Piemont's joined us. Spain has joined us. Portugal, oh, and Austria, oh, that's just, whew. you're very bad people, I hope you fail to sleep at night, now what should we get here, oh, we'll get medicine, because medicine gives you supply limit, supply limit means you can have more soldiers on one, like one of these blocks, tiles, squares, whatever you'd call them, not really a square, a tile is probably better, but yeah, you can have a lot more of them. Right now, we can't have more than 27, apparently. But I reckon it's more like 30 or 35 that we can't have. Which, well, basically, you need medicine. Because late game, you're going to have, like, 100 stack armies. Which are just going to get instantly wiped out by a lack of food if you don't do anything. Okay, let's commence the attack on Algeria. With the glorious alliance of the French. Oh, well, look, bro, you, ca you can't just run over there when we're about to attack you. No. No, we we will catch you. We are the French, and you we will not let you run away. We are the masters of running away. In fact, we are so good at running away, we will run away in the opposite direction, and we will find you. Ma ha ha! Now stick that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh no! Now where are they going? Constantine, look just. This is the one thing I hate about this game. They just always run away. Like, no, I don't want to die. Well, well no one does, just die. What's this? 
Louis Napoleon in Switzerland. An outspoken critic of our regime, the current head of Bo the Bonapartes has been granted asylum in Swiss Switzerland, and from there is encouraging our subjects to challenge our legitimacy. Should we demand the Swiss extradite him? Hmm. Well, I don't know. Hmm. Well, you only get one consciousness, and I get 50 reputation in Switzerland, so... Just no harm in doing that. Now we will add Switzerland to my sphere, and... Well, we now have two decent nations that will always be there for us. Which is quite good. Now we will commence the attack here. Oh, we're starting to lose money, we need to win this war fast. Oh no, are they gonna die? No bros, no! Oh no 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 no. No 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 no. No 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 no. You guys don't want to fight anymore, you stay here. It's good, it's good, you live. And here comes the glorious sec- no, first foreignly- oh, nope. They were outsmarted! By the dastardly army of Abd el Qadir. Qadar. Qadir. Something that is not English and therefore hard to pronounce. We're going to Lagwat. <laughs> Lagwat. That's a pretty cool city name. Now, where are they going? Midia on 15th of April. So we will go now. They're just, they're just everywhere. Oh, meanwhile, I guess we'll have these guys conquering the nation while we pillage. Alright, is that the last of their troops finally dead? Yeah! <coughs> Alright, now let's finish conquest. And actually, am I able to change? Ooh, I am able to change the state capitalism. Well, we'll do that later because I know Lazi's fair is very bad. But, well, very bad right now. It's not bad later on. Just right now. We will take Algeria. Da, da, da. <coughs> yeah, that was weird. So the battle for Algeria is pretty much won. Now all we have to do is conquer the remaining provinces and soon all will belong to the glorious nation of France. Oh, no, just you guys, just get away. You're not allowed here anymore. This is my country. Right, you know what? We're going to see how you deal with this. That's right. You're surrounded, bro. There is nowhere for you to run to. Well, except there, but then I'll find you. You cannot escape the French army. Right, we should probably speed this up while I start capturing everything and hope no one declares war on me for no reason. Because that would be really upsetting. Like really, really upsetting. Oh, yeah, this is the one I didn't read earlier. The Blight of 1838. But something in Festins, the dreaded potato blight, has struck, starving local smallholders and, in some places, driving whole families from their homes. The potato blight has caused localised famine that threatens to spread. Well, we will let them eat cake. Cake or death. What's this? Ambassador insulted. Who are we being insulted by? Prussia. Oh, wait, oh yeah, we want to be friendly with them for as long as possible. We need to avoid every war with Prussia for now. We are not ready for a war. Not in any shape or form. Apparently the upper house being rearranged is more important than the invasion of Algeria. I disagree. And what's happening in the news? <coughs> Oldenburg fears we are coming. Yeah, it's true, we are. Democracy in America. Oh, that's, that's my book. Look, mom, I'm in the news. 
War between the United Kingdom and the USA. Oh, what is going on here? Oh, ho, ho, ho. That is not going to be good. Choir Montana. Where is Montana? Let's have a look. Montana, Montana. Whoa, they want to take that? Oh, shit. The Americans are not going to like that. Not at all. Right, I will change my party now because I want to add more taxes. Taxes for the people. Lower class will be taxed. Middle class will be taxed. Rich class will be taxed. Actually, middle class will not be taxed fully because they are the ones who invest in factories. Along with rich people, I think. I hope so. Oh, we cannot afford to do that. We will keep it at 50. Uh, military spending, yeah, it's fine down there. Cool. Let's just carry on conquering Algeria. Oh, is there more Algerians? Why can't they just let me conquer them in peace? Why do they have to be so troublesome? Oh, well, and I understand this doesn't look like it's a really hard fight. That's because it's not. These guys are an uncivilized nation. Well, a primitive nation. I don't know if that means they're uncivilized or not. Well, China over here. Oh, that's no, primitive too. Okay, yeah, they're all in civilizations. That means they have uh, pretty much no research at all. Oh, peace offer to annex. Please, annex me, France. Annex me. And the French Empire has grown strong. That is just brilliant. Now we will unite our legions here. But all right, I will call it quits at that. This has been an interesting tutorial slash first episode of the French Empire and I will see you guys on the next episode. Take care.